What is going on, everyone? Thank you guys for the channel. My name is Rob Richie. If you guys are new to my channel, just know I post videos every single day. So make sure to click the like and subscribe button and join our reptile family. Now, I want to say congratulations to Brian Barcheck for hitting 2 million subscribers on YouTube. That is absolutely insane. And, you know, people are going to say, you know, the title of this video, this is all to get views, whatever. You know, people are going to think what they want to think, right? And the only reason why I made this video is because, um, I my channel has you know it, if the, you watch the beginning videos i try it was almost like snake bites because you know brian barcheck he made me want to start doing snake youtube videos and that's what i started doing and now i started doing daily vlogging because he was doing daily vlogging so you know it's it's he's like i would say one of my mentors in the reptile industry so i just wanted to say thank you to brian barcheck and if you are watching uh brian um <laughs> i don't know if you will I mean, it just if you are, if you can leave a comment down there, that'd be super cool. If you, you know you checked out my channel, it'd be really awesome. Uh, but, but I just wanted to say congratulations to you. That's amazing. Um, some people might hate on this, say I did it for views or whatever, but that's not the case. This video is not even monetized, so I'm not even getting paid for it. So um, that's completely not the case. I just wanted to say congratulations to you. But anyways, we're gonna look at some awesome ball pythons today, so let's jump right into the video. All right guys, so I'm holding my hand here. This is gonna be the first thing I'll show you guys. This is a Super Queen Spinfire ball python. Absolutely insane, beautiful looking ball python. It has a super reduced pattern as you can see, but you can still see the spider in that. That's that spin, that's the uh, pinstripe and uh, spider, but just a beautiful looking snake. Absolutely, it just, it's beautiful, you know what I'm saying? absolutely insane it has more of, it has like a white color underneath it but it has more of a yellowish cream and just the pattern is so reduced it, it just makes it beautiful looking and the eye color is awesome just a really awesome looking snake now i did breed this uh this year this is a male so this is his first time breeding so let's see if this guy did a good job and hopefully uh we can make this uh into more crazy looking patterns that would be awesome all right guys, so I wanted to show this snake again. This snake is absolutely insane looking. Just check out the colors on this. is actually a banana pewter ball python. And I love what it does. You know, the banana, you can see it right there. A lot in the tail has a bunch of those polka dots going down the back. Awesome, that's that banana. And you know, the yellow is also the banana. But I love what the pewter does. It changes the um, pattern and it also gives it like a purple tint. Now I don't know if the camera's picking it up. It doesn't look as good in camera as it does in person this is absolutely insane looking ball python you know i actually took this to the show and no one picked it up and i'm kind of thankful for that because um i actually really wanted to keep it so now um i'm using it as a breeder i'm putting some more weight on him get him a little bit bigger but he's gonna be breeding real soon hopefully we can make some awesome looking ball pythons he's about 350 grams so he has a couple more months to go um maybe about four or five months so he's ready to start breeding but we can make some awesome looking snakes super excited for it all right, guys. So the next snake I'm going to show you is actually our pie ball ball python. So this is all my pie balls. This is just like my favorite ones. Uh, well, this one, it's not the pattern or anything. I just love this girl's behavior. She's actually super sweet. She reminds me a lot of Hershey. Now, if you guys don't know who Hershey is, that's my chocolate ball python that is on the videos a whole bunch. <laughs> I work with her a lot because I just love her personality. Now she is super tame. She, I would say, is probably about 85 to 90 percent white, somewhere in that range. She's uh, just a beautiful looking animal. I, um, and you know, I really like the more of the low white stuff, but I just love how she acts and behaves. She's actually super sweet. And I can actually take her downstairs. Kids can hold her and she's absolutely awesome. Now we just moved her up a rodent size. So I'm hoping she gets a little bit more plump than what she is right now. Um, because I do like my female ball pythons chunky <laughs> because uh, they just seem to do a lot better like Hershey's. Hershey is super chunky. Um, they're in this weird state right now where they're more long and slim and I don't really like that. So we gotta put some more weight on her. But yeah, just a beautiful looking animal and I want to show you guys she has a like one of the best personalities. I, I really do love her personality. Alright guys, so this pie ball ball python I'm gonna show you is actually one that named patches. Now the reason why I did this is because it has a bunch of different patches and they are different colors if you look. This is more of a dark light and then it goes back into the dark again, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, and this I would say is like, I don't know, 55, 60% white, somewhere like that. I don't know, the belly is all white, but still a beautiful looking animal. Now this is my favorite ball python pattern. So this is the one before I show is the favorite, my favorite personality one. This is my favorite pattern. And I really just love the different patches it has on it. 
and then it goes into the different colors. It's absolutely awesome. And it, it looks like it has, just has a bunch of patches and patterns. Boom, boom, boom. That's pretty cool. So um, this one is moving up to uh, bigger rat pups as well. So hopefully she can get a little bit more chunky. And uh, uh, these will be my first pie ball ball python females that I will be breeding. I have been doing males, but this will be my first females which would be super cool because you know if you do pie the pied all 100% the clutch will be pied which would be really awesome and I want to do some other cool pied stuff I really do like most of my stuff I really want to focus on pied because I've you know pied holds its value and they're just they're actually my favorite ball python morph so you know to do something that you really love I mean how can you call it work at that point you know what I mean it's more just doing what you love and that's pretty awesome so I'm hoping to do a bunch of pie stuff in the future, and I hope you guys stick around uh, to see that. It's going to be pretty cool. All right, guys. Well, that's all it for that video. hope you guys enjoyed that video. And, you know, at the end of the day, people might still hate on this video and saying I did it for views. But, I, you know, I'm not, I'm not here to please everyone. Everyone's going to think their thoughts, and it's nothing I can do about it, right? But as long as I know I didn't do it for views, I'm good. So, anyways, I just want to end the video, and I just want to say thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Take care.